Hey there, welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. So this is a popular wreath going around in the wreath groups on Facebook. And so I figured let's do it here on Julie's Wreath Boutique. So let's make the Ukraine flower. I have my cutting mat, my glass cutting um, board. I get them from Amazon. The links are in my Amazon shop and that is listed below. And then we're gonna use this blue poly burlap and a wood burner. This has got an angled edge and that's what we do. And so we just kind of go in between the lines here and I'm gonna cut 14 to 16 petals of the blue and of the yellow. This is this blue is at 10 inches wide. So I want you to keep that in mind. So let's get the yellow out. And you're just gonna get your um, pieces already done. So after you get all of your mesh cut, we're going to use this plastic canvas. You can get this at like your local craft store in the yarn and embroidery section. For some reason, this clip went too fast or too slow. So I'm doing a voiceover guys, got to work with what you got, right? So you're basically going to cut out a piece and you're going to connect it to the frame and you will see that in the next clip. Okay, so I've got my plastic canvas on and I originally made this flower over on my Amazon Live. And I will link my Amazon Lives in the description box below. And some of those wreaths I haven't made over here. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and click on those and make sure you subscribe to me over there because when I do go live, which will be um, you know, every month, um, Amazon will send you a notification if you have an Amazon account, so it's really cool. Um, and it's just like a way for me to kind of interact with you guys live. So, um, because I have a five section wreath here, there's no like, you know, like this is the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the middle. I use one of these brackets and I'm just going to kind of lay this here. All right. And this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be kind of my halfway point. I'm just going to make a mark right there. So basically the important thing here is to start um, with one color and do half of the wreath that color and then do the other side the other color. Now you're going to say, Julie, you've been using this petal quite a bit lately. And you know what? I have. And it's not because I'm doing it on purpose. It's just what's kind of trending. And so a friend of mine brought me, um, I was at church and she said, um, can you tell me how to make this wreath? I said, yeah, that's basically my poinsettia tutorial. Watch this tutorial, but do it this way. So basically this is a petal that was made by Dean Michael Designs um, years ago. She's the one that originated it. And so we're going to go with this because I think this is a great way to, if you want to show your support for Ukraine, then you can um, do it this way. So basically we're going to, let's just go ahead and let's start. I'm trying to think here. I'm gonna start right here, okay? And we're gonna do yellow and go all the way around. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second bar here. So you've got bar one, two, three, and four. So we're gonna focus on bar two and bar three. Now, if you wanted to come out here to make it a bigger flower, you could do that. The problem is, is that this bar is, acts as more of a support bar for me. So basically, I want to put my first Actually, I'm gonna put it on the bracket, okay? I'm gonna lay my, my zip tie there and I'm gonna take my piece of mesh that we've already cut. I'm gonna make a triangle and then I'm gonna just gather it up like this, all right? And then we're gonna pinch it, all right? Just like that. And I'm gonna put it right there. And this is all you're gonna do is you're going to just space these enough. I'm sorry, that was a little loud. And we're going to put one here. I'm not focusing on so many petals here and there. We're just going to make it nice and full. Now I'm doing um, finish um, at the top and bottom. I'm going to pull it over here. Let's see. Come on. Sometimes the, me the mesh doesn't want to work with me here. <laughs> it wants to be a little difficult. And like you see, I think I cut that a little too long, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to pinch it and put it on my frame. Now I'm going to take this finished edge and overlap that one. All right. So you're just going to keep going and see how much space I have there. You should, if I remember right, when I did the live, 
I believe I did seven of these on each um, row because we're gonna do three rows of these. Depending on what you use for your center um, is, is basically what you need to keep in mind. So again, I'm gonna put that finished edge there. And I'm going to go until I reach about here because we wanted half, okay? So keep watching and we'll be at the next step. Okay, so now we've got the um, petals on this side. I did put eight in here just because I felt like it might be a little sparse and I, I would rather it be a little too full than a little too sparse. So we're just gonna go with eight. So like I said, when you're making this, okay, so mine is a little wonky here because the way the, the um, mesh is, so you're gonna have to kind of play with it there. Um, when you're making this, sometimes that sort of thing happens and you just have to kind of like adjust for it. That's, that's what crafting is all about. Sometimes you have to make some adjustments, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna just keep going and you're just gonna space them out about an inch apart. That's about it. So keep going and it's gonna be fabulous. I only have one roll of this blue left and sometimes you get a roll and it's a little wonky. I know that's not real, real, real word, Julie, but it's just the way it turns out. And so you gotta have to um, work with it. And luckily mesh is really flexible. So there you go. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll be right back. Okay, so you see where we're going. I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing. Um, but now we're going to take um, our yellow and we're going to focus on that bar four here. And basically, I'm just going to lay it right here. Take my yellow and just make my petal. Really simple to do. And like I am always doing this. I'm getting it not quite the same size. So that's all right. We can fix it. And then I'm going to just lay it right there. And if you need to, I added two zip ties going crisscross here to kind of straighten it out to kind of keep it going the direction I wanted to. So you can always do that if you have one going the wrong way. So I'm going to just keep going through here and do the same thing. And we're just going to kind of now kind of go in between each of those petals. And I might... I might need to cut a couple more petals, but that's okay. We can do that. We have plenty of mesh. Now, where can you get this mesh right now? You're probably wondering, Julie, where can I buy that? Um, I have online stores that I really like to purchase from because they have this quality of mesh. Really like them. They are um, the ReShop Mel's Crafty Mojo, which I do have a 10% coupon on if you spend over $35 or more and then Trendy Tree, okay? So all of those links are in the description box below and you're probably like, Julie, where's the description box? Well, if you click on my face below this video, you have to put the video like smaller screen where you see the comments and the side videos. Right underneath my page is my picture and you'll see maybe something that says more dot dot dot, click on that. You might see a little arrow. Um, but that's where you're going to find all that information. When I say go to my Amazon shop and you can get my tools, you can get my favorite cutters and my favorite scissors. That's where all that stuff is. And when I say, oh, you, I will link the, um, you know, the video below, that's where I'm talking about. So I hope that helps. And then, um, you can also purchase this on Amazon, but it is a lot or more pricier than if you go to one of the shops that I mentioned in my previous, oops, when I mentioned them. So, would love to have you um, go visit those stores. They're all great stores. And I need some more zip ties. I love my zip ties, let me tell you. The best zip ties. So you're just gonna kind of space it out and keep going. And then I'm going to duplicate the blue so I won't come back and show you the blue because we're gonna just do the same thing and then we'll show you the middle. Okay, so as you can see, we have that blue and the yellow. I ended up using more petals than I did on the last one. But again, you're just gonna have to adapt for that. Like for instance, I only use six petals up here, but I use seven petals down here. 
So you're just gonna kind of have to work with it, okay? But let's talk about the center. Now, this is the center I'm gonna use, okay? Now, this is a center that I got from like ReShop or whatever, but did you also know that you could go to your local craft store, buy one of those big sunflowers and pop out these and use one of these? It's the same thing, guys. The exact same thing that you see in the big sunflowers is that. But you could also use, if you wanted to be done with this and only um, use that many, you could get a yellow wreath center. You could do that. You could take some paint and kind of put a line and do kind of bluish and then keep that yellow, whatever you wanted to do. But that's another option. Again, all the places that I mentioned, the ReShop, Mel's Crafty Mojo, Trendy Tree are going to have these things, okay? And they even have them at Amazon as well. So, and then the third option, and I'm not sure if anybody has this one yet still, but this is a bigger center. And I think that's really, really pretty. If you use this one, I would probably put these, um, if you wanted to be finished with just two rows, I would put them in just a little bit more. Okay, so that is another option. That one is like a six inch, and then this one is like a four inch, like a four and a half inch. So that you can kind of see the difference there, but we're gonna use the smaller one, okay? So we're gonna do um, a few more. We're gonna do like three or four um, blue up here and down here with the yellow. So let's just grab our zip tie here and then we're going to find a spot about right there. Okay, that is about an inch and a half in from that inside um, frame there. Make your petal and then you're just gonna add it. Now, here's the key here. This is gonna get tight, and I will put a few of these in, and then I will show you what I mean by tight. This is gonna get very tight. All of these petals are gonna be touching, and you might wanna kinda do that, kinda like shape it to the direction you want it to go. So I'm gonna put the next one, and I'm gonna keep it pretty tight there, guys. I'm gonna put it like, let's see here like one little square in between. So we're gonna to be touching the whole time. So you're gonna add at least four of the blue and I would say at least four of the yellow. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so now we're gonna just take this um, center. I'm gonna take that off. Literally, that is what they put in on a flower, guys. Whoever manufactures these, they make them for the flower. So if you see a big sunflower and you can't find one of these, buy the big sunflower and pop it out because it will work. They even sell them on Amazon. So not a big deal. All right, so you're gonna take a nice piece of wire. This is, oh, I would say this is 20 gauge. This is pretty sturdy gut wire there. I'm gonna take these floral pins that I always have a bunch of and add them here. One more, pretty simple. I kind of put them in on the side. I'm going to, I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun, guys, and be back in a moment. <laughs> Real life. Okay, it's the simple things. You have to turn on the um, hot gl glue gun. <laughs> that helps. Oh goodness, um, it's just been a day. All right, so you're just gonna do go from where I showed you here. You're gonna take some glue. Let's hopefully this is going to be nice and hot. Yep. And then I'm even going to put some on this little piece of felt. I'm going to put it over top. And then for added measure, I just like to take some pens. My favorite are the T pens, but I'm out of those. So I need to order some more or pick them up at the store. Um, but let's see, we're going to put these in, let that set up and then we will put this in the center, and then we will put a piece of felt on the back of our wreath to kind of protect it. So let that set up now. Okay, so let's get this wreath finished. So if you made it this far in the video, I want you to leave me a yellow and a blue heart, okay, if you can. I know that, that not everybody has that option, and if you don't have that option, that's okay. So you're just gonna find a spot where you can put your wire through, okay? I'm gonna pull it through, make sure it looks right. Oh, let's see here. I gotta move it over to make sure we cover everything up that needs to be covered. I'm just kind of looking here, and that's what you're gonna wanna do. 
You're gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna tighten it here going to clip my wires and push them back through the wreath like so. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is the next step. Now, when you hang the wreath, of course the blue goes on the top, so they'll just hang it from right up there, okay? Off of the wreath frame, that's the best way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my felt and I just fold it over and then I just poke some holes in it here and there. I love these little scissors, I've had them for years and I've told you guys that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it over here so that we have it measured there. And then you're just gonna take some little zip ties, guys. You're gonna put them through your um, felt in the frame. And if you have yellow felt or you have blue felt, use those colors. This is just what I have right now. And then I just kind of flip that over and you can even go this way if you like this way. Okay, so it's done. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you are from Canada, you could do red and white. You could do all sorts of colors. Um, if your flag is the, just the two stripes, this is the perfect wreath for that. Um, but I think that this is really pretty and I will probably spray this with something called Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Acrylic Spray just to kind of help with the fading and just kind of help with sealing the edges. And you can do that too. So number one, thank you so much for watching here on Julie's Wreath Boutique. Make sure to go follow me here on um, YouTube. Follow me on all my social medias. They're in the description box below as well as if you want to join me on Amazon Live. So all my recordings over there stay for about six months. So if you want to catch what I did last Christmas, I show you how to use the Provo, all of that good stuff. That's where you want to find me. Okay. So again, if you made it all the way through, leave me a yellow heart and a blue heart if you have them on your phone or digital device. So until next Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll see you in Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye.